Hey, how's it going? It's Esky, and right now I am at my Cubase session open for my song Revenge, and I will be playing you some select parts from it. I'll show you what plugins I used, what virtual instruments to get this crazy metal sound. All right, so I'm gonna start off. Um, so let's see. Let's start off with this little part right here that introduces the song. Go ahead and open this up. And this one is by a company called Sony Score, and it's called The Orchestra. And I love it because it lets you pick different settings based off of you know, names, it's almost like a feel instead of telling you what instruments they've used on it. So go ahead and listen to this part soloed up. So, you know, it's adding multiple instruments, like as we see here, violin, horns, cello, trombone, and kind of melds them all into different playing techniques. Uh, on this one, I have a lot of arpeggiators going on. That's what the setting is, called Driving Force. And as soon as I heard it, in combination of the chords I was using, it something magical happened and I really enjoyed that setting and behind it just kind of beefing up some of the sounds I've got a couple 8DO uh, violins and winds just picking up uh, the little little accentuations behind it so all of them together And so, strengthening the violins, strengthening the winds, um, combine them all together. Now let's go a little bit further into the song, or a little bit down here, and which introduces a Another part coming up, which would be a choir that comes in, kind of fades in right as about the other parts start building up. This kind of is icing on the cake. So, um, this one is East West Hollywood Choir. Here it is so low. And so, you know, it's, it's kind of building up until the song hits its first verse. So it's just layer, layer, layer. So all of it, everything all combined together, you would get this. You know, it's a very symphonic metal. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Metallica. I've seen that on the first album, and I've always wanted to write something that's just heavy but epic at the same time. Not not too complicated, but not too simple. And this was definitely a fun experiment back in here. 
Um, so drums. Here your drummer. I only recently started using it for my uh, newer batch of In Silent Agony songs, and I love it. So drums kicking in from the beginning. Uh, I have a, a you know a little bit of a ghost count that is just mainly for live purposes. A lot easier to get the song correct once you have something keep you in time, but for the actual song the release version, I just mute the count in. is going to be a couple parts from this song and yeah if you want any other parts broken down um explanations on other songs or maybe you want me to just start writing songs off the fly with this kind of setup um live streaming writing songs let's try something out but either way that's a breakdown of the intro of revenge and Go check it out, put the link below, and I will catch you next time. Later.